Well, I'm meteorologist Vin Crosby from the Weather Show with Vin Crosby. It has been a while, and I want to say, well, where have I been? My father passed away a few weeks ago, and so I was back taking care of all those uh, things that you do when your dad passes away. He was a battalion chief, a fireman for 40 years, and it was an incredible ceremony. Um, a lot of friends, a lot of support. We want to thank all the fire department uh, and all of the folks that were just uh, reaching out to us, and our family is very, very grateful. Um, it was a tough time, tough to see him go, but... Uh, he had a, quite a legacy. One of the highlights of the whole thing was when we uh, paused the hearse right in front of the fire station, which was 20 feet from the house we grew up in, and, um, and they all stood there at attention and, and honored my dad. That was a very, very, very moving thing. It was great, and uh, boy, just if you can, go by a fire department, just wherever you are, and just say, hey, we appreciate you. They're great. They are great. So. Um, one thing my dad loved to do, uh, he loved to golf, like my friends here at the Back Nine, in, back nine Indoor Golf in Boise, uh, one of our sponsors, and uh, he liked to get out and fish and golf and, and talk weather. And that's what I uh, did every morning before going to school was talk weather or watch weather with my dad, and um, and that's hence why I became a meteorologist. So we're going to talk about some weather because if you're used to these 80-degree temperatures that we had uh, going on today and over the past couple of days in Boise, uh, say goodbye to them for quite some time. As a matter of fact, we're going to go from the warmth in the 80s to severe thunderstorms, possibly strong thunderstorms and flash flooding to the possibility of freezing temperatures next week at this time. So if you planted anything outdoors, if you have maybe planted those tomato plants, the rule is you don't plant until all the snow is off Schaefer Butte. That's the ski resort, Bogus Basin, out behind uh, the Boise area. You don't plant anything until the snow is completely gone because the, the chances of freezing temperatures exist going right on in through Memorial Day. So what do we have going on? We've got a system that's moving on in from the west very slowly. That's the theme of this weather pattern, slow. It is coming on in with the clouds spinning on in, and the systems are going to be moving from south to the north. And so with that uh, flow coming out of the south, we're going to see periods of disturbances move on in. Right now, most of the energy is set up just around the Idaho border on west. We will see a few maybe sprinkles, scattered showers going on overnight tonight, but there will be few and far between. The big push or the brunt of the system, this first wave is going to come on in two parts. And it looks like it's going to be late in the afternoon hours on Wednesday, but primarily Wednesday evening. And that's when there should be enough instability for some strong periods of rain, maybe even some thunder mixed in with some heavy downpours. And then as that system kind of pinwheels on through and pushes on up to the north, we'll get a little bit of a break with scattered showers still in several areas around the northwest in Oregon, Washington, and the Idaho Mountains. But then another energy source, if you will, will come on through as the storm system really controlling all this gets closer to the California, Oregon coast. And then that's when we'll see another surge of heavy precipitation. It looks like uh, Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, and that's when I think we could see some flash flooding in spots in the mountains or some extreme runoff, if you will, causing maybe some minor mudslides and rock slides like we've had months ago and weeks ago. But we're not done with it yet because with that surge of moisture is going to come a lot of colder air. As a matter of fact, this cold core system is going to kind of rotate into the Pacific Northwest and stall. And so it's going to be here on and off uh, going in towards Thursday and Friday. That system finally will kind of pinwheel enough to the east going in towards Saturday and Sunday that we could get a break in the action. Still will be on the cooler side. Not in the 50s and 60s like it's going to be over the next couple of days. We could actually get into the upper 60s and go on towards 70 degrees. 
But then we're going to see another system move on in from the northwest into the west coast, and that's going to bring more heavy precipitation back into the northwest going into the next week. I think that is when we'll see a pool of real cold temperatures move on through. And with that instability, we'll get scattered showers, snow in the mountains. Yes, you heard correctly. And then as that system moves on through next week, we'll see colder temperatures where the overnight lows will be in the 30s in the Treasure Valley and a few pockets of areas will see temperatures maybe, maybe make a run at 32 degrees. But certainly some frost, certainly enough cold air to damage any plants or anything that's outside. But in the meantime, we are going to get these systems moving on through. We'll see a lot of cloud cover initially, but we're not going to see a lot of heavy rain. It's going to have more bark than bite. And we may not even get a lot of wind on in through here on Wednesday. But I think when we push through the next system going into Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, the atmosphere will be set up for cooler temperatures, heavy rainfall, and then gusty winds coming on down the Treasure Valley floors, not to mention ponding of water on the roadways. That system will kick around Thursday night and then kind of move off a little bit on Friday, and then we'll see another round mainly in the afternoon and the evening hours. There'll be what we call a lot of instability in the atmosphere, a real cold core system sitting way aloft, way up there in the high levels of the atmosphere. Um, and then down below, it'll be cooler, but still mild enough to get these convective showers going. And that's where we'll see the chance for some heavy rains and for some heavy downpours. So, back nine indoor golf uh, may be very busy going on to early next week because the uh, conditions the golf outdoors are going to go downhill in a big way, at least for the next five to seven days across much of the, the northwest Idaho. So once again, uh, for those of you who have reached out and... Uh, and said, hey, where have you been? I thank you. Um, I thank you for being patient, and we'll start updating more of these forecasts a little bit more frequently as we go through the next few days. I know tomorrow I'll be very active during the day on Wednesday um, with this developing storm system, especially into the uh, evening hours as some of these showers and storms start to pop up across the northwest, and uh, we'll monitor those for you. But it looks wet, looks wild, it looks chilly as we go through the next seven days here in the northwest there may be a little bit of a break uh, going in towards the weekend we'll see if that holds true with tomorrow's report but again um, thanks for your patience i'm back i'm ready to have a good old time as we go on in through uh, this summer and we've got a new sponsor i got uh, jack and christy lupian of the lupian group you're going to see more of them real estate agents with caldwell banker and uh, you can see all their information on the banners um, with all our sponsors. And we appreciate them as well. Always looking for some more. Thanks for tuning in to the Weather Show with Vin Crosby. And uh, again, rain showers kicking off. Wet and wild conditions at times Wednesday night and Thursday night. And then cold air coming on in as we go on into next week with another system uh, coming on through. So do not plant any uh, plants that are going to take a hit from the cold air because next week at this time we could be talking about freezing temperatures in the Treasure Valley.